A YouTuber named Jack Sucks at Life bought a weird play button on eBay, which he thinks is fake, but his audience thinks is real. With no official confirmation either way, I guess it's my job now. If I don't get to the bottom of this, thousands may have the history of YouTube awards all wrong. I'm Goovoid, and this is the fake YouTube award that tricked everyone. I was just browsing YouTube when I came across Jack's video. He is known in YouTube circles for having an absurdly large collection of YouTube play buttons. And in this video, he obtained yet another from eBay. It was a good video, witty and entertaining, but I was confused when I read the comments. What even are these? He literally said it was fake in the video. We've definitely been scammed. That's just a literal scam. <laughs> these are fans of Jack's. They're not just trying to be contrary. So then why does everyone believe in it? And what's the actual truth behind its origin? There's only one real place to start. Rare YouTube silver play. The listing was real, and I needed to contact the seller. Okay, I'm at school. I just found the eBay message button, so I'm sending over a message. Where did you acquire this? We'll see if they respond. The seller's name on eBay was OLM03, and they joined the platform all the way back in 2005. Throughout 17 years of seemingly random items, what even is this stuff? I found something. There wasn't just one play button, there were five, all sold and all labeled as misprinted. There was a pattern here, and this was only more confirmed by OLM03. I just got a reply from the seller, let's read it together. I'm just the gal with the eBay account. My friend and a few of her co workers got these awards at work and had just asked me to sell them. I guess that makes sense. I asked her for an interview, but... I asked my friend who had me sell the awards, and she said she wasn't comfortable with an interview, since she still works with other YouTube channels, and prefers to be behind the scenes versus in videos. This might be all I have to go off of. No interview, no detailed explanation, but I did have some information from the messages and from Jack's video. I mean, what I'm immediately thinking is she works at Choo Choo. By Choo Choo, I mean Choo Choo TV. In the original listing, OLM03 intentionally obscured the name of the play button, with a spoon of all things, but it was revealed by Jack when he received it. The name was Choo Choo TV Nursery Rhymes and Kids Songs, an animated kids YouTube channel with over 50 million subscribers, and nearly 40 more million combined subscribers on their other channels. This is a fully-fledged multi-million dollar company, with 1 to 200 employees, so it doesn't seem unrealistic for the seller's friend to work there. You can order extra play buttons to give to editors and staff for a few hundred dollars each from YouTube, so it's not crazy for the friend and her coworkers to receive these. Maybe it looks weird because Society Awards was working on a new design? We have a problem. I was just looking through like all the people who work at Tutu TV Studios, and all of them, I mean every single person who works there, is in Chennai, India. Why is this an issue? OLM3 lives in El Segundo, California. It just doesn't make any sense to me to send items worth, what, $3.5,000 to friends in, in the US and then still price shipping at $50. It, it doesn't make any sense. If I could assume that the awards didn't come from Juju TV, the next most logical place was the one and only Society Awards. After all, the title Prototype Play Button came from the assumption that it came from them some sort of test that found its way out of the lab. In order to see if that's true, we need to get into the lab. So I packed my bags, went to the airport, and flew. Just kidding, what's inside went there a few years back, and that's all I need. When they got to enter the facility, I'm not jealous about that at all by the way, an employee guided them to a section of the warehouse. So these are actually um, silver, gold, and diamond awards that have um, some imperfections. One of the scratch I mean, that would be the perfect place for these things to come from, wouldn't it? I actually just took a closer look at the original listings from Olam, and wow, there's a lot of weird stuff going on. Silver awards that say 1 million in numbers, or 1 million written out, and an award with a reflective back? Of course the weird icon protrusion, and varying levels of YouTube boxes. Some of the awards have society award stickers, some don't. All I can think right now is some Society Awards employee went wild with designs one night. Unfortunately, the issue with the Choo Choo TV theory persists here. In the same What's Inside video I mentioned before, they show a bit of the interior and exterior of the facility. 
Society Awards has three locations, in North Carolina, Oklahoma, and New York City. By comparing the building from the What's Inside video to the pictures of one of their warehouses, it was obvious that the play buttons are processed and stored in Grove, Oklahoma, 1.5 thousand miles away from El Segundo. This was just as inconclusive as the Choo Choo TV theory, so I found a Society Awards email and typed up a message, expecting no reply. Okay, while I'm waiting for that email, I definitely need more information to go off of. It's time to take a closer look at the inside of the award. Interestingly, the construction of the award, which one would assume would be a dead giveaway if the award was counterfeit, was what convinced Jack's community the award was real. Jack deconstructed the play button in this video. When prying it open, he found that the interior is constructed of this composite material, and Jack was not surprised. So there is wood here, and I have seen when YouTubers have destroyed their play buttons for videos, there is the same kind of cardboardy wood stuff. Uh, do you see it? The award being shredded was a gold award. Jack is a silver award. Someone messed up the color grading. This may seem like an insignificant detail, but the difference between the interior construction between gold and silver play buttons is shockingly large. Gold play buttons, as the shredding video showed, have a solid wooden interior, Played in on the outside with a brushed metal. Silver play buttons, however, have a hollow black plastic frame. This would mean that if the eBay award was made by Society Awards, they would have had to use an entirely different manufacturing process for the inside of the award, as it appears different from the gold structure as well. I mean, I guess people who think it's real think it's a prototype. I guess they would think it would also be entirely different inside. I don't know, it just seems really weird for the whole interior to change when the outside looks so similar. We need to talk about screws. Holding the strange logo centerpiece in place, there are four small screws, and these are another major point of those who subscribe to the prototype theory. Why wouldn't they just glue it in place? It requires so much more planning and labor for screws. I actually really agree with this point. It doesn't make any sense for a fake award to spend unnecessary resources like this. I actually did find something. The original silver plate button, you know, the ones with the separate icon, they only used two screws to hold it in place rather than the four in Jack's award. Whatever that means. At this point, I didn't know what to think. Evidence was pointing in all sorts of directions, and I just couldn't seem to unravel it. I just got an email. Hi Goovoid, this is not an authentic YouTube Silver Creator Award. Thank you for bringing this to our attention, it has been reported to eBay. Best. Stephanie Sector Society Awards. So, a Society Awards employee thinks the award is fake. So what? Maybe they just haven't been around long enough or not knowledgeable enough to identify this niche award. I just don't think they would do something as aggressive as reporting an eBay listing without at least, like, checking with colleagues to make sure they're not making some sort of mistake. It was at this point that I took a closer look at the other YouTube awards OLM sold and they were even more strange and varied than I remembered. The email, in combination with the extremely weird and varying other awards from the seller's profile, makes it pretty clear that these didn't come from Society Awards. However, that doesn't mean Shuchu TV didn't get cheaper awards made so they could give them out to more employees. But even that seems unlikely. Running out of options, we have to consider more... extreme theories. The friend could work for a company that makes fake awards. Or, like, alternatively, the friend is lying to Olam. Or, you know, maybe there's no friend at all. I don't think that's the case, though. Maybe I'm just naive, but I believe that Olam is telling the truth. It's just that the story might not be as straightforward as we think. There is a way that these can be genuine, depending on how you define it. Do they actually make them here? I don't see any, like, metal machining equipment or anything. In order to shape the metal plating of the YouTube play buttons, shearing, milling, and lath machines would definitely be necessary, and they don't seem to do that in the Oklahoma location. They do print and engrave, but overall it looks much more like a warehouse for shipping, processing, and assembly of awards than a production facility. So where are the components made then? They seem to have a few machines in the NYC office, but these honestly seem more like specialty or demo machines. Their North Carolina office is way too small to house this equipment. So then, where are these made? Outsourcing, baby. Okay, I've been digging around for a bit, and I've managed to find all their suppliers. As you would expect, they're basically all in China. These suppliers, obviously, are companies that allow orders and commissions. 
Literally anyone can order for them if they have enough money. If someone were to, say, ask for an award very similar to a YouTube play button, it would be made in the same way on the same machines as the real ones. You see what I'm getting at? I don't think it's a coincidence that when Jack inspected the printing on the fake award and rubbed it, he says this. Do you know what? I don't think it's real. Printing is the one thing done by society awards themselves. My working theory is that someone, whether that be a company making things for True2 TV, another YouTube channel, or some unknown company, ordered awards made from the same supplier as Society Awards, most likely Hong Kong Holywell, and then Oolum's friend received one at work and gave it to Oolum to sell. Obviously, there are many possibilities, but I think I can at least say I'm pretty confident that this is not from Society Awards. Subscribe if you enjoyed, more videos like this soon. Bye.